Hey, happy Monday, everyone. It's Mike Chen. So the much anticipated iPhone 8, iPhone X, whatever it's called, is launching tomorrow. But apparently all the details about this usually secretive phone is pretty much all out there. That's because according to a report, a disgruntled Apple employee leaked, well, just about everything a day before the big launch. And this is being called the biggest iPhone leak in history. And the source is pretty good because, well, it's coming from Apple. And here's what it says. Apparently the iPhone 8 will have the iPad Pro's true tone display for better color accuracy. It will have an elongated 18.5 to 5 aspect ratio and with an increased native resolution of 2436 by 1125 pixels. And this will make it the phone with the highest screen to body ratio available. A virtual bar will sit at the bottom of the screen replacing the home button. And it can be swiped up to close apps and return to the home screen. There will also be an A11 chip with a 6 core design. As expected, wireless charging will be available and Touch ID will be replaced with Face ID that will also work with Apple Pay. And according to Apple analyst Ming Shi Kuo, the new iPhone will have front facing 3D sensors composed of structured light receiver, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, front camera, and structured light transmitter. This means that the new iPhone will have fantastic facial recognition accuracy and will allow for much better selfies. Also, apparently, no matter what color of the phone you get, the front of the iPhone will always be black. The camera will be something like the 7S's with dual rear camera and 3 gigabytes of RAM. The speakers will be better and louder on this new phone. And the phone will still have lightning ports, but with USB-C power embedded for faster charging. And this is where it bumps me out. There's no longer going to be a 128 gig option. You can either get 64 or 256. So basically, save some money, can take as much photos, or spend a lot of money, can afford to go anywhere to take photos. So there you go. Those are some of the specs leaked by this supposed disgruntled employee, who is probably by now the most hated person in Cupertino, if they find out who he or she is. And I think Apple probably really wished that they announced everything today. And in other iPhone news, of course, with the arrival of the new iPhone 8 or X or whatever, people are going to try to sell their old iPhone. So a used iPhone 7 went on sale online in China and the final bid came out to be 270,000 yuan or around $40,000. And according to the, I think, really unfortunate winner of this auction, he said he mistyped when he thought he only entered 2,000 yuan, he ended up entering 270,000 yuan. So of course he said he could not pay that amount, but he was still fined 10,000 yuan or around $1,500 for making a falls bit. And with that money, he could have bought a brand new iPhone. So there you go. That's your news for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later.